Hey guys, so today's video is for makeup beginners and I put together a list of seven items. This is kind of like the must-have for beginners. Um, I go over anywhere from like foundations to eyeshadows, so I've got like the must-haves. If you're starting out with makeup, I hope I don't overwhelm you. I try to break it down as best as I can, so let's get started. So number one, I have BB creams and foundations put together because it is like your foundation, what you're going to put on your face. Um, so a BB cream, I've got a BB cream here, this is the L'Oreal, and then this is the CC cream, and this is the Peter Thomas Roth one. What's the difference? What is a BB cream? So BB cream is, the BB stands for Beauty Balm, it is just a tinted moisturizer. That's all it is. If you have really lovely skin, and you don't really want a bunch of foundation on your face, and you don't need it, get a BB cream. Like that is all you need. It will give you just a little bit of coverage and if that's all you need, good on you. I wish that's all I needed. Now a CC cream. CC stands for color correcting. It is like a BB cream as far as it's a moisturizer and it also is a little tinted but it usually has a benefit in it as well. Like it usually helps with fine lines or wrinkles, it helps with pores, or it helps with um, dark spots and age spots. Um, it usually has something else. So this is kind of the multitasker, and this is, whoops, as I almost dropped it. <laughs> this is a tinted moisturizer. So if you're one of those people that like a product to do more than one thing, probably a CC cream. But if you just really nice skin and you just want a little bit of cover up, BB cream is the one for you. But if you're like me, I need a little bit of more coverage. I have a lot of redness in my face, I have acne scars, and I just need to cover up more. So I use a foundation, and I'm not going to get too in-depth with foundations. I have another video about that. I'll put the link down below. So to start off with, this is the one. I really like this is for a liquid. This is the Urban Decay The Naked Skin. It is just what it says it is. It looks like naked skin. You put it on, it doesn't give you that cake face. And unfortunately, liquid foundations have a bad rep of looking gross and cakey, which it can if you use the wrong one. Like I said, I'm not going to get too much into foundations. This one will give you a nice natural look, and you can add a little bit more, and it won't give you that gross, cakey face. Um, another good one to start off with is like the Bare Minerals. Um, this is actually what I started off with eons ago. Um, it actually just now came out with a liquid one, so you're not just stuck with powder for bare minerals. They have the original, the matte. Like I said, I'm not going to get into too much on the foundations, but if you want to go the liquid route or the powder route, honestly, in my humble opinion, this one will give you a little bit more of a natural finish. You can add more. The powder, it, it still will look a little powdery no matter... Any, okay, enough said on that. Any questions? I'm wearing the Too Faced one. So moving on, so I put those two with the BB creams and foundations into one because that is like your foundation, you're covering your face. There we go. Moving on, number two is concealer. I am wearing, this is the MAC Pro Long Concealer. So a foundation is just going to pretty much even out your skin tone and a concealer is a lot heavier than that. Like if you need a pimple you need to cover up, any little redness, dark eye under, or under eye dark circles. I'm just gonna throw everything today. Hopefully I won't throw anything at the camera. So as long as I don't drop and break anything. So concealer is going to cover up more. So there's different grades of foundation. Like I said, I'm not gonna get, I'm gonna try to get not too far into it. So if you have a lot to cover up, go with more of a full coverage foundation. If you don't, go with a light. If you have the occasional pimp out that you get and you don't need a lot of coverage, still a good idea to have a concealer because that way you can cover it up whenever you need to. If you have dark circles, concealer, you don't really want to put foundation under here. It doesn't cover. Um, and you don't really want to like, like say you have spots and you're like, oh, I'll just get a concealer and I'll skip the foundation. The problem with that is concealer doesn't blend very well and it doesn't look right over the whole face. Like you might put it around here. Like we get red right in through here with hormones. It's great being a girl, isn't it? Um, but if you like try to put it all over your whole face, it won't blend out very well and concealer does not look good over the whole entire face. I've seen people try. It just, I wouldn't advise it. So foundation's going to help 
even out your skin tone, concealer is going to conceal anything you want hidden. Um, like, my face is broke out. I have concealer on, and I have it under my circles. Okay. And I have that already on. So next, next is bronzer and blush. And I put those together as number three because you can rather use a bronzer or a blush or both. And I get that asked, that question asked a lot is, can I use a bronzer and a blush together? Absolutely. So I'm going to show you. So pretty much a bronzer is, well, mine's got a shiny overcoat from being cleaned with alcohol. But anyhow, a bronzer is usually brown hued. They have some that are matte with no shimmer, some that do have shimmer. It's up to you what you want to get. Um, bronzer is just to make it look like you got a little bit of sun, nothing too much. It's not too, I mean, you could cover your whole face to give you a tan, but that's, that's a different way. There's, so I'm going to do, like you can use an angle brush, you can use a fluffy brush. Um, and like the most common way is the three. You start up here, then you go under the jawline, not jawline, the, my goodness. You go under the cheekbone, we'll get it, and then under the jawline, and then just get to blend it down a little bit. And that's the three, so the shape of a three. Obviously, you don't want to keep it too particular, because you don't want an actual three on your face. And then some people like to come down the nose a little bit, because let's, let's face it, that's where you would get touched by the sun. So that's one way to do it, the three what I usually do because I actually use my bronzer to contour. This one's a little bit more like picky instead of just doing a big brush as a three. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find my cheekbone. I'm not going to do this. As soon as you do that you're going to get this all the way down here. I'll have to explain that another one. I don't want to overwhelm you with too much, too much talking. So I'm just going to go right underneath the um, cheekbone and underneath the jawbone blend it down a little bit and I'm not going to put any more product on my brush and just blend it. You okay so my battery just died so I just switch it out sorry but yeah so no more and you'll hear me say blend a hundred times I'm not quite sure where I was before my battery died but anyhow just lightly around the edges and pretty much what it's going to do besides like giving you the sun-kissed a little bit of look is a foundation totally wipes down your features so it's just like totally blank canvas a little bit of bronzer is going to help like as you can see you can actually see my cheekbones now a little bit more bronzed I have a little bit more features now so besides like contouring with it a little bit or bringing in a little bit more color that's what bronzer does um now for blush Blush is going to give like a natural flush look and for starting off I wouldn't suggest doing like any crazy pinks or anything. This is just a peachy color. This is the Tarte and Captivating. So pretty much if you're starting out you can do a bronzer or a blush or eventually both. A lot of people tend to start with a blush instead of a bronzer. It's totally up to you which route you want to go. So <clears throat> You, I mean, there's peaches, there's rose colors, there's very pinkies, there's glitter, there's mattes, nothing with shimmer. It's up to you which route you want to go. Go in there, play in the stores like Sephora, MAC, um, Ulta. They all have testers, so go in there, play around, see what you like. Um, the other thing is, how do you apply it? And, oh, I absolutely love blush, but when it's put on wrong, I hate it. So you'll see, and I've seen people like on the buses and on the street, they put the brush right here and this is not it's not natural blushes don't come in little circles so you look like dolls I can go on and on I don't I don't want to so I'm not going to um pretty much a lot of people they say smile really big to put on your blush and they put on their blush right here the problem was that as soon as they stop smiling it it droops down so you smile you put it on around here and then you stop smiling and it comes down here it drags the face down and it ages you like, it, it just ages you, so don't do it. To make the most natural blush, and here's another thing, is like for me, 
I get super red in through the nose. And if you get that, you just use foundation and concealer. You don't want to put blush by your nose because you just fought to get rid of that. So pretty much if you look straight ahead and right where your pupils are, this area right here, this box, right around here is where you get super red. Um, at least for me and a lot of other people, especially if you tend um, to get flushed a lot or hot, I mean, own little personal summers, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyhow, this is where you tend to get red, so avoid putting blush there at all costs. Um, pretty much from here, right where your pupil is, on back. That is where your blush should go. Your blush should not come up front. Keep it back here. Like I said, don't put it right here. It ages you faster than anything else. So, enough talking. Let's put it on. Like I said, on the other thing is, like I mentioned, you have a cheekbone here. You gotta find that cheekbone. And lightly, I'm going all the way up to the hairline. Because, you know, you want it to make net look natural. If you were to just take this brush and put it on right here and then there's a spot I mean nobody it doesn't look natural I mean not that kind I mean you don't want that kind of natural anyhow so you're just going to lightly blend right there and look at that I kept it back here so that way it's not up here this is gonna look make you look nice and rosy naturally flush the kind of flush do you want not like the kind of flush that you just ran a marathon and you're all hot and gross so yes, keep it from your pupils on back, right on top of your cheekbone. You don't really want to go below it. Right on top. Like so. There you go. There's blush. So that was number three. Like I said, I combined the blush and bronzer. You can go with either or, or as you can see, you can definitely do both. So. What's next? Number four, eyebrows. Oh boy, this is a big one. I can do a whole video on eyebrows, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. You can do pencil or powder. Either way, powder is going to give a lot softer look. Pencil will give it more defined. My absolute favorite are the Anastasia, the Beverly Hills. Love these things. I am going to, though, today, just because I'm going to use the NYX or the NYX Brow Pencil. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly show you how to find where your natural brows should go, and then I'm going to move on. I will spend way too much time talking about brows. So where your nose is, you're going to go like from the tip to the base, right in the middle. Right there is where your eyebrows should start. If you come all the way out. So from your nose to your eye, right here is where they should end. And as far as like where your pupils look, if you're looking straight ahead, you bring it right to the outside, right where the end of your pupil is, right here. That's where the highest part of your art should be. Um, sometimes you have to fill in a little bit. Sometimes you have to not fill it in or eventually pluck it. That's all personal. Eyebrows are a very personal thing in my opinion. So I'm just going to use feathery motions instead of like drawing them on. I don't really want to get sticker eyebrows. So if you want to start putting on color, I suggest doing it from the arch to the tail because you, I rather, it's better to get this part darker than up here or you're going to get those angry eyebrows. Unless you want angry eyebrows, that's up to you. So I'm mainly, as you can see, more working on the bottom. Not so much the top, because this is what I'm going to do. So I'm focusing on the tail and lighting the bottom. And as far as the top goes, I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to blend that product up because I am going for very natural brows. Because when you start off, you don't really want to start off with anything too big or insane. I don't know, it would have scared me away from makeup if I would have started with big ol' big old brows. So very natural brows. And there you go. And if you need to, like if there's any little spot, then you can touch it up. So there you go. There's, there's how you do a very natural brow. Very simple. Now I'm going to do the other brow. Okay, so eyebrows are done. 
I look kind of scary with just eyebrows and nothing on my eyes. It looks very alarming. Okay, now we're going to so eyebrows is number four, and like I said, you can use a pencil, pencil or powder. It's up to you. Some people like powder, some people like pencil. Yeah, it's it's really what you prefer. Um, go in the stores, like I said, play around a little bit. Pencil might be a little bit easier to start, or a powder. Powder, you will need a brush. So if you don't want to be bothered with a brush, you can use a pencil. Most pencils come with a little brush like on the back. So if you want to like start by one item, I'd suggest a pencil. All right, moving on. So number five is eyeshadows. Um, now actually in general, you can skip number five. Um, a lot of people just aren't into eyeshadows, but I'm going to cover it because a lot of people are. So I'm actually going to take that concealer because the MAC Pro Long actually can double plus an eye primer. I'm actually going to put it on my eyes and this is going to cover up any veins or anything like that. And I'm actually only going to do this one eye to show you. Um, I would suggest eventually getting an eyeshadow primer. It makes all the difference. If you're going to put eyeshadow on, you might as well prime your lids because it won't make it crease and plus it'll make it last all day. I had a big old green smoky eye the other day and I had it on for 12 hours. At 12 hours, I kid you not, wear eyeshadow primer. As long as you're going to put the work into it, you might as well have it last you all day long. <laughs> Dropping things again. So, I am going to start. This is the Urban Decay, the Naked Palette, Holy Grail in the Makeup World. They have Naked 1, 2, and 3. Um, I would start off with Naked 1 or Naked 2, your choice, and these are the colors right here. It doesn't matter, and the reason I like these palettes is because it doesn't matter what colors you mix on this whole entire palette, they will go together. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to try to do something very simple. I go crazy with eyeshadows, so I'm going to try to do a look with only three colors. I'm going to limit myself to three colors. Let's see if I can do it. So I'm going to start with just a very basic color. So pretty much any of these from like here on down to here would work. I'm going to use this color here. This is Sidecar. It's one of my favorites, so that's why I'm going to do it. So I'm going to just start by actually putting it on the actual eyelid. And you can get colors that don't have any shimmer in it either, like this one does. Uh, Urban Decay makes a little mini natural palette that only has... Gosh, I don't remember how many colors it has, but they're all pretty much mattes but one. Alright, so I got that over my whole brow. So now I'm going to go in... Where's my brush? This is the second color. And I'm going to go in with one of these two shades. So these are considered highlighting shades. They're very light. Which one do I want to go with? I'm, I'm going to go with Sin. We're going to go with this light pink here. So highlighting is just what it is. You're going to go underneath the brow bone. Right underneath the eyebrow. Underneath the tail. And just whatever's left on your brush, taking that product and blending it down. You don't have to go all the way over here, mainly focus on um, where the arch is, and that way it's actually going to make your eyebrow look higher than the other. It's going to define it. I'm going to take a little bit more of that sin. Uh, I'm actually going to put it right in a little L shape right by your tear duct. Ew, go away. And this is just going to help brighten the eye, making it a little brighter. Now for my third color, like I said, I've only limited myself to three. I'm going to go with a darker color. Now you can pretty much go from this guy to any of these two to any of these three right here. You can use the black, a brown, whatever floats your boat, but something doing a little bit more of a natural look, I'm going to go in with Dark Horse right here. 
So I'm going to take that, I'm going to start on the outer corner, I'm going to take it up into the crease. And since, just for my eye shape, I'm going to bring it out a little bit like so, winging it quite a bit. Now, so that way it doesn't look like such a hot mess, I'm going to take a blending brush. I'm going to blend that dark color into the crease. By doing these windshield wiper motions, you're actually making it look a lot softer. So that way you don't, um, oh, I've totally lost my train of fact. So that way you don't get these harsh lines and it looks a lot more natural. You know what, I probably should have just kept it a little bit more simpler than that. I'm going to go back in with my Sin. I'm used to doing a very smoky eye. I should probably have kept it a little bit less than that. Like, I always smoke my eye. I am terrible. Go in with the sidecar. Just clean it up just like that. So there you go. There's a very lightly smoked out eye. And then you would just take a brush with your dark color like your dark horse bring it under there and there you go there's only three colors I feel like that's not very natural it's very smoked that's kind of my signature I didn't want to make the video too long but I'm gonna quickly do a little bit more of a natural so I'm going to prime my lid again with the concealer. I was not planning on doing this, but why not? Now you get to learn how to do two looks, right? It's all about more you can get. All right, since I already used that color, let's let's be crazy and use another one. So I'm going to go on the naked color. Take that naked. I should have cleaned my brush a little better. I just wiped it off with the tissue. You gotta take that naked. And lightly go over. Since I already used Sim for a highlighter, I'm gonna go in with Virgin. Take a little bit of that by the tear duct. Take a darker color. Oh, you know what? Let's take let's take smog, which is next dark horse. This one right here. And you're just gonna lightly go in the crease. This is a nice gold color. Bring it down. Take your blending brush and just blend that a little bit more into your crease. And from that, you're going to blend a little bit up and out. Just because you don't want to drag your product down, it's going to make your eye sag a little bit. So there we go. That's a much lighter eye. A little bit more natural looking and a smoked out eye so for you starting out there's a good day look I guess that'd be a good night look this is my everyday look but to each their own that's why there's so much makeup you can do whatever you want so I hope that wasn't too confusing it looks absolutely crazy of two different color I just gotta clean it up a little bit oh gosh Okay, <clears throat> so let's, let's move on. Like I said, I don't want to confuse you. Like I said, very simple, three colors, one color on um, your actual lid and then a color up here to highlight the brow. Bring the same color in the center here, a little bit slightly darker color right in here in the crease and then just bring it down here a little bit. 
and you only have to do this just because it ties the whole eye in together and then this eye same thing I just smoked it out quite a bit more yeah so all right eyeliner is number six so I like the Naked 2. Again, it's Urban Decay because you get a black and a brown. I would suggest starting off with either one, black or brown. This one gives you two in one. All of the better. So just since I did two different eyeshadows, I'm going to put the black on here since this one's a little bit more extreme and I'm going to put the brown on here. So what you could do, so I'm just going to line the lash. I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to smudge it out to give myself a much softer line. So that's smudged out. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do about a quarter of the way of the eye and then smudge it in. This is why I like the Urban Decay because they are smudgeable. And there we go. There's eyeliner that quick. So these stay all day and they are very vivid in color, but you have 30 seconds before they dry. So when I first put it on, as you saw, I just smudged everything. So it looked much softer and I didn't get any jagged, harsh lines. Um, and then now it's set. It's good to go for the day. So we're going to use the brown on this side. I'm going to do it much lighter hand. You can definitely use the black for this and just go a little bit lighter so you can barely there's my smudge brush. barely see this brown but it still gave the eye much more defined excuse me still defined it with the liner it got right up into the lash line makes the eye pop a little bit more with the color and I could even take a little bit of the black and put it just right there and then start Dragging that color in. Take my finger and blend the rest of it out. That's going to give you a very soft, and I'm not even going to really line the bottom. I'm just going to take whatever's left of my brush. And there we go, a very natural brown eye. And like I said, I smudge it. I blend everything. As I'm sure you've noticed, I've said it about 50 times already. So, eyeliner is number six. Um, you can use black or brown to get more of a defined eye. Blend it out for a much lighter look. Um, if you want to start, if you're like, oh, you know, I'm new at makeup, but I still don't want to do just browns. I want to pop a color. I would start by doing a colored eyeliner. Purple, blue eyeliner. All my favorites are the greens and purples to start off with. That's a different, that's a different subject though. I don't want to get too far off track. I feel like I have already. So number seven, last but not least, is mascara. Um, definitely a good idea to invest in an eyelash curler just because it will curl your eyelashes. I know a lot of people that don't and they just put it right on. So I'm going to put on or at least curl my eyelashes. Okay, so I applied mascara on this side, and this is, sorry I didn't tell you, this is the Lash Domination by Bare Minerals. So, as you can see, it does quite complete the look. And the easiest thing to do is make sure you get any last little goops off your brush. Then take your brush wiggle it out as you put it on and then almost taking the tip and getting those inner ones and this is just going to make it less mess so you don't get mascara all over your work and 
and then going at the bottoms. And you can definitely, if you're a little nervous about getting mascara on the bottom, you can definitely do this method. I mean, there's a brush. I mean, the whole thing is, yes, there's a brush. You see everybody go at it like this. Why aren't you focusing? You see everybody go like this. But in all honesty, it's a brush. Work it to your advantage. You can use it at any angle you need to to get your lashes done. <clears throat> so there you go. Okay, so this is the complete look. Even I have two different eyes going on. Pretty natural, three color, one color on the eyelid, one color on the top for highlighting, and one in the crease to give it some definition. Same on this side, just totally smoked it out. This is how I started my makeup, like way back when was starting to do this. This was a lot for me, and then now this is my everyday eye. So you get to see two different ways of doing it, have fun trying them out. Um, I have seven on my list. G granted, there are some like the blush and bronzer that are as two because you do one or the other or mix them as both. Um, I hope this helps you out and I didn't put too much or confuse you at all, but I hope this kind of helps knowing what you really need to get to start with. Um, any questions or comments or any suggestions, comment below. Let me know if I did end up accidentally confusing you. I'm really sorry. Comment below. I will try to answer any questions you might further have. Um, I would like to do another video that tells you all about like the setting sprays, the face primers, the eye primer, what the difference is, what you really need, maybe some setting powders, all that extra stuff that once this is no big deal, you're on, you're ready to go to the next thing. And also we'll have more about makeup brushes in that one too. So make sure you give it a big, things, big thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to see my upcoming videos and I will see you guys all later.